Ray Nagin is approaching the end of his tenure after serving two terms as mayor of New Orleans. What's up, Doc? Where you been, man? How you doing? Hello, young lady. We want our mayor to look good. Hey, hey, well, he's taking care of my shoes. You know how that is. Ray Nagin, the man, is actually one of the most charming politicians you will ever meet. So you turn 70 what? I turn 70 in October, my life turned with it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a handsome individual. He's really very likable on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So what you gonna do now? You getting ready? You gonna leave here for good? No, man. I'm being New Orleans, man. Where am I go, man? This is the best place to be. So as he looks ahead to life beyond City Hall, what would he change about the last eight years? You know what? Regrets. I, I don't. I don't have a lot of those because I pretty much make decisions and move on. I think back to when Katrina was getting ready to hit us. And it was about an eight-hour window that I possibly could have called for a mandatory evacuation. And I waited until the next morning because we had to go through some legal maneuvers to, because no one had ever issued a mandatory evacuation. So that's one of the things that I wish. Uh, you know, I probably wish I would have cussed a little more and got some people moving a lot quicker as it relates to the federal dollars flowing directly to New Orleans. We come to you with facts. Biggest mistake I made, in my opinion, is I lobbied and was very successful with billions of dollars, but I didn't lobby for the money to come direct to the city. And that delayed the recovery probably two, two and a half years. Happy Mardi Gras! Happy Mardi Gras, everybody! This is my final uh, time leading uh, Mardi Gras uh, in the city of New Orleans as mayor, so, you know, I'm just gonna soak it in, have a good time. Put this one in the memory bank. Come on, Emily. Do your thing, baby. Ten days after the New Orleans Saints won the Super Bowl, the mood is more jubilant than at any time since Katrina. It was like a veil of frustration, uh, despair, and negativity was lifted from the eyes of just about every citizen. We got the world champion, New Orleans Saints. We are no longer labeled victims we are champions and it wasn't until that moment that their eyes opened up to what we were doing collectively <laughs> as time goes on, people are now starting to say, you made the right decisions on more things than you made wrong decisions. Hey, sweetheart, how you doing? Come on, sit down. No mayor in the history of the United States has ever gone through what he's gone through, and it takes a toll on you. Whatever measure of relief he's feeling pales in comparison to the relief that the citizens are feeling. What's up, bro? Right, how you doing? I'm good, man. You all right? I was not the choice of the local media to run this city for a second term. So I have been uh, beaten on for almost four years. So that takes a toll. He'll be remembered as somebody who had a task to deal with and really couldn't handle it. But we don't hold that too much against him because who could? I said, God bless you. And if you had a chance to walk in my shoes, maybe you might understand better. Before being mayor, Nagin was a successful New Orleans businessman and plans for now to leave politics behind him. What's next for me? You know, I don't know. The first thing is going to be a long vacation. Uh, I have been gone nonstop for eight years, and oh, I don't even know how to describe it. Katrina was something else. God bless you. Enjoy yourselves. For more on Ray Nagin and to find out who's next on Revealed, go to our website.